go underground when it comes to King's College, but for everybody else, not. They want to go straight through the middle of people's homes. Today we are going to be meeting and your chance to hear the candidates and what they want to do for your local community. The voting papers are getting out to you now. If you don't, you aren't enrolled yet, there is still a chance to be able to get on and uh, have your say. But you need to be engaged because these sorts of things are going to happen to our communities if you don't stand up and fight back. The first speaker, ladies and gentlemen, today, it is my pleasure to welcome the leader of the Mana Party, Hone Parawera. The next few weeks isn't about deciding which candidates you're going to support. It's about deciding what you want for your own future. It's about deciding whether you want that kind of development that's been proposed to bulldoze right through this territory or to say no to it. You will already know that a lot of the others have already been briefed on this kind of activity going on and have chosen to say nothing. They've chosen to do nothing. Some of them have actually chosen to support this uh, bulldozing right through of this community, except for King's College, of course. Okay, for the rich boys to keep their territory, there are no, no offense, but the rest of us black fellas, well, we don't, get, we don't even get asked. And if you want a future where that sort of thing is going to continue, then just go right on ahead and vote for somebody else. But if you want to change the way in which Auckland is going to be run, if you're going to want to change the way in which the this, this city is going to be driven, then you're going to stand up for yourself. You're going to stand up for your community, you're going to stand up for your street, and you're going to stand up and vote for the people who are going to stand alongside you when it comes to the fight. There's, there's lots of people out there that have... There's always lots of people out there that will be there when the television turns up. They'll all be there walking down the line and I guarantee you they'll be at the front catching all the television. As soon as the television's gone, they're gone. So think about the sorts of people that you know that will stand beside you in the fight. And not just the fight against this, this motorway, but nothing more expresses the contempt that this council and these candidates have for your community and the wider community of Auckland than what they're proposing to do out here in South Auckland. I don't have a lot more to say except to you. I'd like, to, I'd like to thank James for, for dressing up today. It's, it's, it's his best Sunday suit that he's put on, especially to come out here today. Uh, to all of the candidates, for everybody who chooses to stand up, know, know this, all of you out there. The only reason they stand is because if you call, they're going to be there. If you need a hand, they're going to be there. How do you know that? Because they're already there. They're not the sorts of people that turn up just for the camera. In fact, often a lot of them won't even turn up when the cameras turn up because they've got police problems that they're trying to hide. <laughs> but they will stand by you. They will stand by you. And when the crunch comes, you've got to know that the people that you're backing are the people who are going to be with you to the end. There is a lot of shiny and glossy uh, people out there there's a lot of really friendly people out there. But at the end of the day, we are in a fight. Not just for Auckland, for the whole country, but particularly in these local body elections for turning around the way in which this city is being driven to meet the needs of rich people and corporate entities. Brown started out with the right idea, but he got it just very, 
it very easily, just rolled over. And he rolled over. The biggest expression of that rollover was when they had the port workers dispute up here in Auckland here. When he had the opportunity to make a choice, do I back the company that stands to make millions of dollars of this enterprise by kicking the workers, or do I back the workers, all of whom live in my city? And Len Brown chose to back the companies against his own citizens. And that's why I say to you, don't be won over by the glossy smiles, don't be won over by the flash suits, don't be won over by the, by the grand promises. Instead, look to the sorts of people who are going to stand by you when the chips are down. Look for the sorts of people who are going to help you to lift yourselves, to lift ourselves out of the situation that we find ourselves in. Here in South Auckland, right throughout the rest of Auckland, and indeed, right throughout the rest of the country. This is an opportunity for us to send a message, particularly here, in the biggest Polynesian city in the whole bloody world, that it's time for a change. Then I will go, then I will go, Jonathan Tokatua.